guys, crew Blind Way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. I'm Rick. Eric! And we are back with the franchise of Fast and Furious. Uh, apparently they're drifting. You can't handle the drift. Uh, all right. Uh, we've already finished Fast and Furious, which we didn't react to. We had already kind of seen that you one. You stand so. for nothing. What will you drift for? But there is available Too Fast, Too Furious, and Tokyo Drift on the channel already. Yes, sir. This is the fourth film, Fast and Furious, because that's what they named it. Huh. They're getting better as we go along. They've gotten better. I need them to get a lot better, a lot worse. They need to. They need to go up here. Or they need to go down here, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, Calvin, you weren't in Tokyo Drift. What happened nope. in Tokyo Drift? Do you uh, well, I'll make sure you know the story. Uh, Calvin literally seventeen sat year old. There my just first finished. question. I, I just finished the movie. <laughs> like, like, did you expect any drifting ago. in the movie? Did I expect any? Yes. Yeah. Eric did not. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're twisting my words. What I said was I didn't realize the entire movie and everyone's motivations and loves and scenes would only be about drifting. I thought it was just a clever title. I didn't know that they would never drive straight. They don't drive straight. They're in Tokyo. That doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. He, he drove straight when he outran the cops or when he... He drove so fast that it disheartened the cops to not even pursue him. Yeah. And when he raced against uh, Brad from Home Improvement. Yeah, yeah. right through that, that home. Yep. That, that was, was, he that was before he learned the ways. <laughs> I have never seen it. So. <laughs> before I thought you were just talking about yep. him wrecking the house. <laughs> before the ways of drifting, so. Yeah. But yeah, so now we're on to Fast and Furious, but before that... What do you drift for? That was a, a line. Dude, that was we, a line. We had, we had a short before Too Fast, Too Furious. There's another short that goes before this. I've oh, never, damn. I've never seen it. I want to know Calvin's opinion. I've never on, seen this one. On Tokyo Drift. I've seen the last one. Okay. No, I want to know Calvin's opinion. Ah. Oh. On Tokyo Drift. I thought we tried that. As what'd a whole. You, what'd you think? No, oh. Everyone interrupted me. Yeah. What you, Calvin, what'd you think of the movie of Tokyo Drift as a whole? No, I really enjoyed it. I definitely thought that it was better than Too Fast. Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah. Um, About the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, I thought it was slightly better than that. One. Okay. Honestly, I, I, it, 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 it gets didn't a, have the, the hyperspace driving <laughs> stuff, sure. which was, it improved <laughs> it, but it also... It barely had CG cars in it, Calvin. It's ridiculous. Huh? It barely had CG cars in it. No, that, I mean, that's good, I guess. No, honestly, yeah, it's crazy. Like <laughs> I, I only saw, like, Tokyo Drift. maybe four or five shots yeah. where there were CG cars. No, that was the best. Tokyo Drift, yeah. I hear a lot that people don't like it, and it's a lot of people's least favorite mm-hmm. of the franchise. But out of what we've watched so far of the first three, I feel like it's been the best one, at least as far as, like, I mean, even the story, I feel like it's yeah. a little better, as far as, like, a cohesive story. And mm-hmm. the racing seems better, and the shot of it seems better. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Like, a lot of it just kind of... Like, but it is also, I think, the first movie with Justin Lin in it. Yeah. Uh, not in it, but directing it, yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> Which he does, like, the next three or four movies. Uh, it definitely had a different feel. Like, there was, like, artistic shots of the main character, like, walking through crowds and stuff like that. It gave it, like, a really good tone, I think, to, like, set it. Make sure that you knew that, yeah, this isn't Texas anymore. Or wherever the fuck he was. Sure. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, Hey, Calvin. No. I really enjoyed it. Calvin, you know how him and his mom kept like moving around the beginning of the movie and like their whole lives because he couldn't get, you know, out of trouble? Yeah. They were drifters. Let's watch Los Bandoleros. Wait a minute. You s- wait. It's got an intro. Yes. This is crazy. All right. Where did they release this? This was published. I think it's on the Blu-ray. Was this like a Saturday morning matinee or something? I think it's Matt Hey. I don't know. I think it's just trying to figure out how this got to the public. Why they made it. I think it was initially on the Blu ray. <clears throat> Special feature. They're going to drift in space. Oh my god, Eric. Don't get my hopes up. They're already going to space. What? <laughs> oh, this guy's saying. Me. <laughs> <laughs> One race. That's fitting. This is gonna be like that one prison in Asia where they all dance the thriller. Is that what it's gonna be like? 
It'll be the, like the longest yard, but instead of playing football, they race, but not for Porque sin bandolero, esos hijos de puta no viven, tú no piensas, no te das cuenta que estás cayendo en un círculo vicioso que es el que ellos quieren para trancarte aquí. Cars are made without gas. Bandoleros are some kind of like supernatural, like protectors. What's this guy doing? <laughs> if the beat is giving, makes me think he's doing poetry, but it doesn't sound like poetry. Maybe. It's like the yeah. This guy gonna talk for 20 minutes? Okay, no, that's the intro, gotcha. Dominican. Hello, Mom. Ese tipo que no te veo por el taller. ¿Qué pasa contigo? Sí, buscando gasolina, pero nada más conseguido medio galoncito, a ver si. No mejora las cosas, ¿verdad? ¿Tú crees que mejorarán? Ay, viejo. Tranquilo, viejo. Ok, está. Gracias. Gracias, Sam. <laughs> One thing I do know about this that I read was that it was directed by Vin Diesel. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. This is what I read. Like I said, I've never seen this. Like the first one I'd seen before. I don't, I don't know what exactly. All I know is that in the order of how to watch this, this is going to be watched before that. I keep feeling like a Michael Jackson music video. Oh yeah. By the way. Fast and Furious takes place before Tokyo Drift. Cool. I like Han. Han. Oh, man. I was oh, like, I'm pretty sure Han died. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So when he says Han's family, we get to learn why. Gotcha. I have people being like, watch Tokyo Drift later. I'm like, ah, that's how I watch it, though. And it's, I think the, the shock of the kill and then coming back, I like this better. Yeah. But we'll see. Do you know Han was in this? Not in this one. I just said it because Han was there. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I better let you know. He disappointed they showed up. I was going to tell you during Fast and Furious. Not during this. <laughs> it's a prequel and a sequel. It takes place after two Fast and Furious. Before Tokyo Drift. It's like Borderlands, right? I'm going to need more tea. The pre sequel. Is this like a Mad Max thing? No, they can't get gas. They can't afford gas. I mean, it's the Dominican Republic. Ya te vas a ver, la cosa va a cambiar, tía. Quédate tranquila. Yo le voy a ir a avisar a los muchachos que ya está la comida lista, ¿está bien? Está bien, mijo. Todo lo suave. Todo ahorita, Gizzi. Like the other guys in jail talking about how there's no gas. No gas es de esta mala. Es como el corazón del carro. Si se rompe, puede matar. Dom went to the Dominican Republic. Well, where else do you think he's going to go? And Han was at an airport. Dom, Dom. Aquí parece que alguien se estuvo portando mal. No? Did he drive from here to Asia? Uh, Probably. <clears throat> Racing people along the way. It's a bus. This is not the same car, though. I don't like this. Ah! Should probably get a more fuel. You see what he did? Yeah. I know you just open shoot your teeth all the time, Eric, but it's not right. That's what men do. No. All right. Men use machetes. I need some gas. You know, I can't afford it. <laughs> so I'd go. <laughs> Leo's still in jail. Can you explain to me who's the Chinese guy? Looks like you've been really moving up in the world. Who's this guy? 
<risa> Abajo. Vamos, 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 vamos. Tato. Vamos. He's dressed like Santo Fidel Castro. Han, Han Santo. But sleeveless. Yes. You look like shit. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> How come we can't stay in a hotel, huh? Oh, complaining already. And like air conditioning, you know? Like room service. Did Han on TV. not have an accent whenever he spoke English? Took you a drip? What do you do with food? I don't remember. We didn't have a strong accent. I don't remember. I think it was, yeah. <clears throat> you gotta pray first. Eric knows the rules. Grace! 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 Welcome to our island, huh? I'm not sure if that camera island was trying to go to the kid's face. No, it was going to the titties. Okay. Because Han went. <laughs> yeah. Tonight we go speak to Elvis. See if we can fix this problem. First we pick up Leo. Leo? Elvis isn't dead. Out of jail. No, he just went home. So Bolt cutters. Where picking up this Leo friend of yours? Prison. Well, we gotta pick up this Leo friend of yours. <laughs> Yo, my God. Oh, it's the guy Ooh. that was speaking, Ooh, isn't it? Yeah. He's not hustling at all. That was so easy. Hey, where you going? Back one second. Or you just drive around the corner, park it, come through the front. Oh, yeah, we're ahí. You are Santo. Hablame, hablame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abre la puerta. Que yo salí con un piquete terrible. Ando con el puyo himself. El incorregible. Que tiro pa' atrás sin ahora. Con los bravos. Yeah, it's a weird slow motion part, isn't it? So at least we like cut up and throw the food up in the air. That'd be kind of like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like five. Psh. There's like 50 people in there. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm going out there like this. Vestido de preso, tu eres loco. You want to wear my shirt? No, man. I got a cover, man. Somebody's coming to bring my shit. Don't worry. I got a cover. Who is this guy with me? Elvis, he's a politician who gives a fuck about the people. Elvis is a politician. Hey, mommy, ven acá. Bien, bárbara, pero ¿dónde tú andabas? ¿En qué tú andas? Llévame contigo, a ver. Oye, chula, dame dos. Vestía de novia, ¿sabes? Frosty like a wedding. Papu, me tengo que cambiar, cara, che, más cloa, chingata. Y el mentality, un mito. Very good, this. Beauty. Beauty. Hey, man. I bet this is a lot different in China, huh? Never been. Or Japan, wherever you're from. Like I said, I've never been east of the Atlantic. Yes, yeah, so where are you from? The States. Is that where you met Sam? So we're from nah, the States. Mexico. I used to hear about him in the racing scene, but I guess I didn't start running with him until now. Man, you guys are hungry? You want me to get you guys a room? That's cool. So you've been running with him for a while? Yeah, you know, a little here and there in South America. He calls me for all the fun stuff. Wow. Wow. He calls me for all the fun stuff. Wow. <laughs> Yo, how are you doing, my friend? Oh. Yo, this is, <coughs> this is Elvis? Yeah, he's a, the politician. The so you know, Woman. my friend, that I don't like having unexpected guests. I already got my crew here. He knows 
knows how I like to do business. Now, I tell you what, when the merchandise gets here, Cállese, coño! Cuando yo estoy hablando de este hombre, ustedes en silencio. Like I was saying, my friend, I'll protect the merchandise until it's out of the port. Once it gets out, if you want to do something freaky, that's none of my business. Do something freaky. Yeah. What is freaky? Between the arrival. Deal. Freaking naughty. And its destination. There's a very slight window open. Yeah, don't worry about that. Ben Diesel mastered the zoom in in those two shots. You know, at the end of the oh, day, people go. are going to get what they need. <laughs> you can't move forward without fuel. And no one wants to be left behind. If you can get it and give it to the people. God bless. He's going to Robin Hood that gotcha. fuel. So he's not he's not supplying them. He's saying he comes here, then it leaves my property. Yeah. Where it happens then, who knows? Yeah. It's kinda like that one guy from the first movie, right? Yeah, With the truck. Hey man, yeah. this truck had a bunch of shit on it. And yeah, Lucy is not gonna be happy. Oh, nope, she's gonna be pissed. Oh no, is that her? It is! It is! It's Michelle Rodriguez! Follow the odor of skanks. <laughs> I love that Rick's joke became reality. Life has a way of changing one's plans. <laughs> Change your plans. Where do we sleep? I feel like he has such a goofy smile on him. I don't think I've ever seen a palm tree forest. Yeah, I know. I was looking at that. I was like, what is that? Orchard. He is going five miles an hour. <laughs> Just cruising. Saving gas. <laughs> Three people on that bike. Precisely what you missed. Hope you crash. Well, I don't think That's he true. Shit. He's gonna hit those six people on two bikes. Man, you can tell he directed this. And then... A blocky. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh my god, we're gonna crash. Oh no. What's gonna happen? Uh, I don't find this sexy. I'm too old. <laughs> this is dangerous. These kids are gonna kill someone, you know? <laughs> you definitely am high. Such a straight road. <laughs> yeah, and they're not going that fast. I know, Fine. but I'm just, you're just irresponsible. I you know. Never, you never done that, Eric? No! The steering wheel's too close. You just get the seat back and put on cruise control. I have long legs, that did. What? You don't need the legs, you get cruise control on. Even if you need to hit the brakes. Nah, early morning is fine. No one's on the road. This place is crazy. One minute, clouds the other, sunlight the next. 
Lost Island. I was say, she knows all about that. <laughs> On the island? <laughs> when we watched the first one, had you met her yet in Lost? Uh, I think so. Had you? Yeah, I think so. <coughs> I mean, we saw her in Lost. He was like, ah, oh, Fast and Furious. Uh, I had seen her in other stuff. Yeah. Like Resident Evil? Yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. She's like the same kind of person in that, too. Yep. Like the same attitude and everything. She's like the same attitude in Lost, too. Isn't she? Yeah. Good catch. It's like you need a tough girl. As long as you do the one thing well, you only need one thing. Yeah. She's always like the tough girl. Can you drift oh. in a kayak? Oh, timber! Can you drift in a kayak? I think it's called a paddle. I think it's called floating, Rick. You just uh, down the waterfall. <coughs> Vin, do we need more shots of her on top of you? Yes! <laughs> it's getting dark, we can't see well! Keep shooting! <laughs> I'll say cut, just keep filming. I want a vacation in the Dominican Republic. Huh? Is that it? Wait, what happened to the. Is okay. Right. Is the movie gonna be the, the heist? Yeah, this must be the setup. So this is. is... The setup? There you go. So this is. Yeah, this is where, what Dom's been doing, I guess, in between. Right? Dominican last time, Republic. Last time we saw Dom, he disappeared and was gone yeah. with with Brian taking off, right? And then when Two Fast Two Furious picked up with Brian, and we saw what yeah. Brian was doing and how he got there. This is, I guess, what he's been up I to. I mean, this one was so. more informative than Brian's. Brian's is like, what happened between? It's like, he drove to Florida. He's a fugitive. He did. That's pretty much all Pretty much it. Yeah. This one's like, well, there's a gas shortage in the Dominican Republic. The uh, Elvis... Wants to give gas. Well, Elvis or said, whatever. like, there's when the stuff comes yep. in on his docks, yep. once it leaves there, you want to get freaky. Yep. <laughs> so, Han is in this. Han yes. showed up. And this is before Tokyo Drift. Before Tokyo Drift. What year did Tokyo Drift take place? I forget. 2040. I looked it up before, but I forget. Not 2040. I don't think it's on. I feel about. like this is Vin Diesel being like, Act One is optional. Yep. Let's just get into the movie and get yep. into the race. Sure. He, well, he didn't direct the movie. But from what I understood, he wanted to go from the fourth movie straight to the fifth movie. But Universal was like, well, let's see how the fourth movie does first. But they let him direct this to like kind of have like this is what happened in between one and four. To like help for, for his four character. A more. Yeah. Wanted to go from the fourth movie to the fifth movie? It's like Back to the Future, right? Back to the Future when like they went from one movie right into filming the next movie. Okay. Like he wanted to like, let, well, we're, we're talking about doing a fifth movie. Let's do the fourth movie, go straight into the fifth movie, you know? Just start keep filming the fifth movie, you know? I see. Okay. But Universal's like, well, let's do the fourth movie, see how things go, right. and then we can do a fifth movie. But they were like, here, why don't you direct the, this short? Gotcha. So. So is a Bandaluros, is that Dom? Is he the one who is to Los free Bandaluros. the people and bring freedom to California? Balance to the Dominican Republic? Like, is that Dominican for bandit? Uh, Bandaleros? I don't know what it's for. Bandalier, like Chewbacca? Yeah, bandits. The bandits. The bandits protect us from bandits. the evil businessmen. So it's Robin Hood. It's lot, Robin Hood. But a lot of what they're talking about, too, is like, yeah, there's a gas shortage of some yeah. short, short, sort. Just say Dominican Robin Hood, and I'm like, got it. Yeah. Are they going to start a war in the Middle East? Like, uh, are they going to get this, isn't, gas? this is not in the Middle East. What? Where are they going to get gas? they got to get yeah. the oil. Oh, from, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll see in the next movie, or in the movie, maybe. It's going to be talk crazy. About. Are they going to drill like... in the Antarctic? No, they're gonna no, they're gonna probably not. Um, they're in Dominican like Roman. soup up some speedboats and become pirates. Is this franchise just gonna become Fifty Cent Blood in the Sand? I literally can't I wait know that to one. watch the movie now. Because <laughs> you like your mind's going different yep. places. Like what is it gonna be? Yeah, we'll spar out of control, Aaron. We will. Let's let's check out the actual movie here and see what happens with Vin Diesel's plan for the gas. And this movie is called Fast the and Furious. Shit. Oh, there's a crawl. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, there's no crawl. <laughs> God, that'd be great. That it would be exciting. great if road was the crawl. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Yeah, Eric. Oh, well, Mad Max. They got fuel. This is Mad Max 2. Oh, fuck. We're for the 
So this is the plan. This is the thing. Let's make some money. See, before you were watching, you'd be like, what the hell's going on? I'm like, wait, how did she get here? Look at this. Look at this tanker truck. What they're driving. Oh, the guy that he's put from prison. I have so much history. Leo, right? Leo. Leo, yeah. Leo. Leo. Wait, why aren't they wearing helmets? Leo. 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 What do they say, Leo? Seriously, though, why aren't they wearing helmets? Because they didn't get in your way and you had that vision. They wore helmets at night in the, the first scene of the first movie. Yeah, look how that turned out. It, they succeeded. What was the second time they did it? Yeah! They were wearing <laughs> yeah. helmets. Eric, you're missing an iguana eating a candy bar. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ate that candy bar so good, Eric. You missed it. Look away for five seconds. <laughs> he drifted! That's pretty cool. Yeah. They got like a platform to work out from. Drift track. I like it. Oh, shit, that accuracy. Is she dead shot? What? About him. Like, he backed in just in the right spot for her to toss at, you that's know? That's easy. She tipped it Dude, over my dad right time, too. There's an iguana on the hood, Eric! I don't I see trouble any. hooking the wood splitter to my dad's truck when neither is moving. <laughs> I don't like that I can see this truck driver's face. Drifting! They know the ways. Han probably taught them ancient drifting art. Fuck! Ah! They know! They know. The iguana they know. knows! Oh, shit! Oh, that's the ham. Team Kaboom! On the edge! On the edge! Oh, fuck, that's a three. <laughs> that's so unrealistic. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Dominican, Calvin. You don't know. Ah! Drift. Drift. You're all about the drift now, huh? Yeah. He's <laughs> gonna drift something. Drift it. Yes. Oh, oh, fuck! You're gonna burn your girlfriend alive! Oh, fuck, man. Look at this. It's a cliff! Fucking road. It's so unrealistic! Oh, my God. It's great. You're going so fast! That is what I did! Oh, now, Dom. He can't now. Now what's the plan? He is so unconcerned. You gotta time it like Sean Connery and getting out of the rock. Yep. Fuck yeah. Dom. He's gonna launch up here. He's gonna be the last quarter mile of my life. Yes, he drifted. <laughs> he drifted. <laughs> he knows the ways. Four of us flying. Ancient Chinese secrets! Japanese. It was in Tokyo! Oh yeah! <laughs> Sorry, they probably took it. Jackass! <laughs> Yo, why are your stack is bigger than This is why he's so rich. In Tokyo Drift. I think he was rich before. Oh. Ride or die, remember? You figure it out. They always do. The odds are gonna catch up with you. Like imminent mortal danger. That's okay. Having to do with the consequences of your actions. This is too much. <laughs> well, he doesn't want her to go down for the consequences of his actions. I know, but like... They're also her actions. He's also like, <laughs> jump on the truck! <laughs> you know? Yeah, the, pe the people from the U.S. are not after him because of stealing gas from the Dominican Republic. Sure. <laughs> They're after him for other stuff. No, I'm just saying, like, she, she could have died so easily. <laughs> she could have like, like, lost her. her legs, broken her back. Sure. But he doesn't want her life to be just incarcerated. DVD VCR comics. I'd rather be incarcerated than dead. Would you? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Like you, you do a lot of reading. rest of your life just in prison in a little room. That's all you get. Yes, I think life is preferable to death. I don't know. That's why death is the escalation. It's not of punishment. It's not. That's so much money. There's that argument of like, is that even living? You know, <laughs> in prison? <laughs> yeah, you're just like you, you don't get to experience anything. You're just... You can get a, you can get like a college degree. What's that gonna do when you can't get out of prison? Then <laughs> you're just incarcerated forever. You could be a doctor. In prison? Yeah. I mean, get some smokes. <laughs> get out on good behavior. Oh, oh. Another boy! Holy shit! Oh, nice. 
Oh man, that looks so good. Yeah. I think that he just jumped over two buildings. Yeah. And he didn't, didn't even have to break his foot. Like Tom Cruise. That? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bigger gap, Calvin. Calvin, that gap was so big. My point is, it didn't need to be. See it? I did. It's right there again, Eric. We all did. We We're gonna see time. a lot. I have a feeling. They showed Nas in the back of the truck. They were really thirsty. Nas. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Oh my God! It was yeah. honor. Oh, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit, man. Give me a name. David Park. David Park's the guy you want. David Park. He must be better. Be worth it. That was a chase and a half. Oh my gosh. Damn it, where's Harry? That's all you got? David Park? That guy is a goober. I could throw a fortune cookie off this thing and take David Park's right now. Isn't he the captain in Agent Carter? Yep. Isn't that him? I think so. Anytime you get below the U.S. border, the grading in movies and television shows is always so yellow. The yellowing? Yeah. Tom, it's Levy. Except for Arrow. She's been murdered. <gasps> what? Huh? No fucking way. He is gonna righteously murder some fools. Who murdered Letty? Michelle Rodriguez, no! When I die, when do you guys need to do this? I'm gonna be buried next okay. to an oil field. No, I mean, like, when do you guys need to stand up on a hill, just a mysterious no. person in the, in the distance? We won't do that, because they'll expect us there. We're gonna hire, like, 50 people to do that. Okay, yeah, in a distance, yeah. right? Yeah. And all of them are gonna be, like... Whenever one of us dies, that's what we do. Like right? one, like like an assassin from every country is going to come and honor you. There's yeah. a mysterious, like, what was he doing? Why's that guy there? Yeah. Why does he come closer? Is it really an oil field right next to the... Okay. Okay. Actually, yeah. I want two guys. I want one mysterious guy and some guy with a with that little ear thing. And then they start shooting at each other. No, no, no. That's okay. too much. <laughs> You've gone too far. It could be natural <laughs> gas. Why would they start shooting each other? Because we have history. Hey, it's the house. Looking for Dom because of Letty's funeral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> DVD players he stole. <laughs> Drop the DVD players. <laughs> I'm just saying. They're expending a lot of resources for a guy who sold DVD players. Is that, the, on it, huh? is that the car that he flipped? Same one? Where he's like, I've been saving right, this, and then immediately crashed it? Yeah, he was working on it. It was his dad's, right? Yeah. Even though it every goddamn synergy. The boy Toretto's Red Chevelle's spotted in his old neighborhood. Gonna bring his ass in. Not in your car, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I actually quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hot dog? Alright. <laughs> Look at the sub. He's not an iguana. Don't let him put your hands on me again, okay? Say hi to your sister for me. Engine! Oh my god, he's so strong! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so heavy. That was so fucking bad, man. <laughs> Sorry, John. No idea. His eyes are so blue. Maybe you're the bad guy pretending to be the good guy. You ever think about that? There is so much ketchup back there. There was so much more ketchup than there is mustard. Look at it. There's no mustard. No, there's one. <laughs> is there one? I don't even see ketchup, uh, mustard. That's because ketchup is good for fries and hamburgers and lots of stuff. See? Mustard is only ah, good for hot right. dogs. There's Why don't you put mustard on? Hot dogs, that's it. Doubted me. Except for bologna. Anyway, did you get what he, they talked about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to crack the subtext. <laughs> subtext? Yeah. Come on now. I don't know shit, man. I swear. I just won cars for Braga, all right? All I could do is get you in the race. That's all I could do. <gasps> what race? What race? Yes. Oh my god, he is so Batman! <laughs> <laughs> He's so easily holding this man. It's so great. Come on. You here to take me in, O'Connor? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! <laughs> 
Shut up. Oh my god, what did he get? He's holding on to something. Something. He is Batman. He's gone. Gone. Connor, if you ever release him with this one. Oh, Jesus. You are bleeding so bad. Please go get checked. Jack, go get yourself cleaned up. Yeah. What? He hit me first. You, you this isn't talk. the Cub Scouts. Now go on. You're bleeding on my floor. I mean, Man, I was so scary. Clean yourself. Yeah, he, he touched him first. <laughs> Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest shit you'll see here today. Man. He beat the shit out of a cop, what's he gonna do to me? <laughs> Ma cosa resta? Solo cerchia la mia testa. Cosa mi aspetta? Tocca accelerare andare in fretta. Is it easier to rap in Spanish? There's so many words end in A and O. I don't know. I think it is, right? Ah! What, Eric? You put the Russian rapper inside. It's, it's easier to rap than that. They don't Wonder Woman? Time. Was it? Was that Gangado? <laughs> You just went, ah, like what? She's looking at nuts, eh? I don't know, you tell me. Oh, the ricer wants what Mike's got. See, Wait. ladies, Dwight's already on the team. Do you want to know who that is? You gotta be fast if you want to drive. No, who is it? Oh, His voice. Here. That's Beast Boy. Oh, fuck, it oh, is I, Beast Boy. Holy shit. shit. And then that's Wonder Woman. This, Holy shit. This is Gal's first film role. In Dom is Batman. <laughs> yeah, this is her first film role? Yeah. What's Gal's name? Giselle? That's a shaver. Not Gillette. She is like frustratingly, mind numbingly beautiful. Yeah. Right? Like it's stupid. Like fuck her, you know? <laughs> She's too pretty. Here, yeah, something's wrong. wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> Whoever wins the race gets the info. Look, he just had to look at his head. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Please wait while directions are downloaded. That's the best GPS I've ever fucking seen! So this is a race to get the job? Yes. Ready, player one. Yeah, let's race! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, that guy's out. Couldn't drift. I'm my ass look to you, Ben! Get off smart. Those were the two lamest insults I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Go your own route. Dude, yes. even the computer model drifted. You see that? The GPS always tells you the the route you should go. Oh my god! That this guy guy's coffee cup has That's less hot. hair on his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, car. <laughs> I think his car might be a little more sturdy, buddy. Yeah, right. Oh. Ah, jackass! He did the same thing. Jesus Christ! Jesus. I mean, he can't get away from his car. Jesus! <laughs> There's it around him. Ah! <laughs> What does he drift for? Love? It's too early, Dom. He was too early! That's all that matters. You learn. Who hits it first? I learned this. It took me five years. Oh, pit maneuver. Oh, part of his plan. At least we know you can't beat me straight up. Now that's what I call real drive. Now that's bullshit, man. Go cry to your mama, eh? <laughs> the prince for campus. The number is for me. Duletti just died. Muscle beats import every time. You know what I'm saying? Every time. <laughs> Ladies, let's get on back to pop the <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you think it's ZB's boy, huh? It is. <laughs> Papa Dwight. Papa Dwight wants you to take off your shoes. Does he ever not speak in a third person? I hope, I hope so. Oh, Dwight likes his foot a lot. Huh. You know, I didn't expect him to be a creep. Oh, really? Okay. No, I'm kidding. People can like feet. Go ahead. There's nothing creepy about that. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
That's mm. creepy. Yeah, you're quiet. What are you doing up there? Hey, no steak. Steak, where you going? You stay? No, it's never going to stick, right? Yeah, it's not supposed to. <laughs> Fuck his rights. Were those shorts or panties? Those are like a bathing suit short thing, right? I don't know. I love in movies where it goes from one song to another. Yep. But nothing happens. He went to another floor of the club and they were playing a different song. Nothing happens. He went to a different floor. He moved. <laughs> They're in the club now instead of being out in the parking lot, Rick. It's like that bar in Nashville. You ever been in a parking lot, some guy's blaring music, and you go inside the club and there's different music? Yeah. That happens. I go inside the club. Rick, you need to find a club. <laughs> Man, I can't hear shit. Did you go to the bar in Nashville where there were six bars? Each floor was a bar. <laughs> different music each floor. That's cool, though. I don't think he was there, Calvin. I don't think yeah, I, I, think he was. I am missing this dialogue. Chris. Do you know each other? He used to date my sister. <laughs> See? You're a lucky man. How's that? You're still breathing. <sighs> Any one of them would die for Braga. Including you? Especially me. I would die for Braga. <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of those boys who prefers cars to women? I'm one of those boys that appreciates a fine body regardless of the make. Wonder how he feels about wine. Your car. It has body. So now that I know you're tasting cars, tell me, what about your women? What's your type? <laughs> <laughs> like you just said. <laughs> a tall one with a big ass. That doesn't sound Day for night. Can't fool me. You don't know? I do. <laughs> I don't see anything. There's underground tunnels. You have 30 seconds. Oh my god, this is hot. Just smooth out the tunnel. Jeez, know, you built right? this. Why would you leave that there? <laughs> Come on, quit up. Sati. My name was Letty. Best time? Yep. Alright. Us solves problems. We should have solved it with drifting. Oh my god! <laughs> what yeah, happened? Makes no, it's perfect sense. <laughs> Us is an explosive. So now you owe me a 10 second call. <laughs> is that right? I got access to keys. <laughs> hey, get out. Mom, what are you doing? We reach first. You have to say grace. Broke his own rule. Huh? Huh? Let me explain. Oh, what are you ready? Ready was. She was a plant. Stop! Stop! Nice! Uh, triangle! He's gonna lift him. He's and too he's strong. Not an engine. One handed. She did it for you. Letty came to me to clear your name in exchange for bringing down Braga. She just wanted you to come home! I personally would have said something. He's not wearing a tie. Everyone's freaked out. Supposed to bring in Toretto and the drugs. Oh, not looking because okay. I want to tie. <laughs> we back Braga. We let Toretto walk. He's harmless. Don't worry about him. You literally kill everyone that works with. Ha! Ah, got it. Where'd you put it? Someone I've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> we just got confirmation. Do it. Oh, they got a lot of guys too. Oh shit. Who's that guy. Oh, it's just that guy, Draga? Compost. That's it? What do you mean that's it? What better way to run an empire than to be the guy like second in command? And they're I all looking said, for some other guy in the command. I said it's just a name to throw off the scent. 
Dad the egg jumped the gun and blew the mission. Mm -hmm. If you'd have waited for the call, or for the print out of the face. Yeah, I just need faster printers. I'm going with you. I don't plan on bringing anyone back. Uh -huh. Ride or die. Ride, then die. My mom had that exact same picture. A picture? Picture. A picture. Water picture. Like that. Yeah, she has a, a man in a baseball uniform standing in her kitchen. <laughs> to throw an apple. Oh. Uh, in the kitchen. Making bread. You saved my life. I'm willing to return the fame. Fucking frog and fiend's gonna run her over. Bienvenido a la casa de Dios, señor Braga. No te preocupes, padre. Todo va a salir bien. There's a choice with those subtitles. Right? To have them like moving. <laughs> it takes off. Ride or die, Eric. Fast and furious. You hit the NOS. Holy ground. There's like zombies and shit, right? Vampires. Highlanders. Hermano, you and me. Same. You and me, we know so different. Damn it, I got so close. <laughs> You're no hero. Why well, wasn't it cocked already? It's more intimidating this way. I guess. People always show up with the gun not ready and then they go, Ch -ch -ch oh shit. Yeah. And that's why you're going back across the border. So we can arrest you. Bring in a man. The other guy. But Phoenix is mine. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Oh, shit, man, I was playing poker, getting out my gun ready. Good response time with these guys. Oh. Yeah, they don't give a shit if they kill him, do they? Seemingly no. Just off the car. Glasses ah! on! Glass in his arm. <laughs> Hi. There exactly. There <laughs> There's dumb. <laughs> right behind you. Oh my God, there are so many people after him. <laughs> like 50 cars. How powerful are those shells? <laughs> just blowing cars up. They put a hole in the ground in front of him. <laughs> ah, <this is> bullshit. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. I love it. <laughs> Did they open the doors? Never mind. The Fuck was, no. the doors. They could not open the tunnels. <laughs> Good thing that's not just a wall. I know, that would suck. Fishing pod racers? Yeah, that that was? that's what I was thinking of. I did. Thank God. <laughs> oh my God. Right, this is a tunnel with the tomb. Oh. Was it boss. about not shooting the boss? That might kill the boss, man. But you can run his shit over. Crushed by rocks. <laughs> oh my god! He's blocking it with the engine and he's done! Oh! Yes! Oh man! <laughs> so, 
How did Brian hold him in place? In the okay. He held him. I know. Let's see. What did you get with your NOS heroin? F, F Bob. What was it? You know, I would have I won that race if you didn't cheat, right? <laughs> <laughs> you looked your head on. <laughs> Please be seated. Please rise, Mr. Toretto. You just told me to sit down. One right does not make up for a lifetime worth of wrongs. All those DVD players. Are oh, they gonna break them out another road bust? Fugitive style. O'Connor! Okay. I've lost trust in the federal system. O'Connor, oh, yeah. here! This is the third car. What's the difference between a it, cop and a criminal? Is it Gal good? Is it Gal? Now it's your boys! Leo. <laughs> They're here from the Dominican, Dominican Republic. Uh, Cheap, right? Yeah, all right. Hell yeah. We started driving the first movie. Yeah. Dude, spark in it. Okay, good. I got close. Sure. <laughs> the credits are kind of interesting. Down when they do this for a life. Do not go through Mexican Dang. tunnels. Too late. I've already been there. All right. There's Fast and Furious for the fourth movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to start with the general rank of this compared to like Tokyo and whatnot? I don't think it was shot as well as Tokyo. Uh, I didn't like the car stuff as much as I liked in Tokyo. I think I agree. I mean, there was some great car stuff in here. It was just supplemented with some CG stuff. CGI stuff. And it, yeah. The, the two dis are too disparaging. They're, they dis they're distracting. But that isn't, you know, like something like whenever that the car like, goes through the Mexican tunnel wall, and I'm like, well, that looks like shit. But the next shot looks amazing, you know? Sure. But it's solid a little bit. Sure, yeah. Um, it's like a really good shot, and then like a, I, that's not yeah. going to look real. It takes me out a minute. And then it's back it's to like, like something yeah. better, and then... The shots that are real look so good, <coughs> it makes the shots that aren't real look so much worse by comparison. Sure. sure. It, it, would, it might be better if the, the live-action shots just mm -hmm. weren't as good. Because <laughs> then it would just all be even, and it wouldn't like mm -hmm. pull me out of it as much. But, yeah, I think Tokyo Drift... Like it's served well because drifting just looks cool on camera. Sure, and you don't have to go. Straight and you don't have to go as fast, right? Yeah. Like in drifting, exactly. like you can be going like instead of going eighty miles an hour, you can be going like thirty or forty miles an hour and have that drift thing so you can catch it easier on the camera. Or yeah, something, you know, like yeah. and smoke is you know tire smoke is always cool and well sure. and like a lot of that was shot at night and yeah it, it looked cool actually night yeah actually night actually night yes. <laughs> Eric is correct. I'm just like not a day for night shots. That's not how shadows work at night. <laughs> you know, it's just so hard to do. And like a flyover shot of the city, everything's uh -huh. just blue. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I mean, also Tokyo Drift just got me because I found it a little ridiculous that 95 percent of the movement in that was drifting. You know, but yeah. I, it was charming and I loved it. Yeah. You know, this has more of a. This is. You know, feels like more of the same from like the first movie, sure. which isn't bad. But I need to ramp this motherfucker up. Sure, <laughs> you know I have expectations, and that's my fault. But I mean, I definitely had some fantastic <laughs> moments here with Vin Diesel just being like the strongest guy's ever existed. Sure, <laughs> you yeah. know? this guy tried to tackle him into his waist, yeah, like right at his hip, and he caught him without moving. Yeah, grabbed him. And without moving his shoulders at all, just threw him into a car six yeah. feet away. <laughs> no, the, the best one is when he's hanging on the guy out the window. Yeah, and like and it, there's no exertion. Yeah, it's like he's just standing. <laughs> yeah, there. he's like Superman holding somebody by an ankle. Exactly. You know, and then he, it's great. He's left him go, catches him uh, again. Uh, but I love that guy's reaction. Oh fuck, shit! You know, oh, as this, pull me up. What are you doing here, O'Connor? <laughs> you know, can you guys finish this dog leader? <laughs> pull my ass up. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> I think I was the most invested in this story of any of the ones so far. <clears throat> it was real dumb, but I was still invested. And like, it felt like a revamp of number two, where yeah, it's the, like the racing running. to get a spot in a heist, and then 
you get yeah. a spot in the heist and then they try to kill you. Yeah. And then you take what's theirs. That was the and s- then, same. So yeah. that kind of feels like a rehash, but better characters, I think. I think like the henchman in four was better than henchman in two. Mm-hmm. You know? There's a little letdown. Uh, I don't think Vin Diesel does loss and sadness very well, or just emotions, really, in general. Um, which I feel like was a little bit of, of a disconnect, but I thought Paul Walker did a better mm. job than Ben did of like dealing with the loss mm. of Letty. Sure. Or yeah. emoting it, anyway. Yeah. Like, I felt I, emotion from Ben. I fully expected Letty to be in all of these. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, I I know she died. Yeah, Fucking I Han is in this. I was like, well, then he's going to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Fucking Han was in it. He died. <laughs> it, I was like, what the fuck? It was a serious whiplash for me. <laughs> Yeah. I like like Aaron said in the beginning, I literally finished watching Tokyo Drift like five minutes before we started the reaction. Man, motherfucker, and thirty seconds before we start the reaction. Yeah. It's it just Oh, there's Han. Yeah. I mean, That's what? awesome. I love Han. I mean at least it gives you like yeah, a little interaction right. there of him being like with Dom and whatnot, and it's like, right, maybe, I'll go, yeah. maybe I'll go to Tokyo. Here they're doing some crazy shit there, you know? Yeah, I wish I, he was in it more. Was it uh, revealed, or am I just, like, really bad at watching? Like, was... Did we know that Han was from the States? Um, I don't Tokyo think they Drift? talked about it in Tokyo Drift, okay. no. They talked about it a little bit here. I mean, I just... I'm probably not familiar enough to have maybe recognize an American accent that he spoke in, maybe? Sure. Now, yeah. they... They talked about the fact that he wasn't from Japan in Tokyo Drift. They but... might cover it more in... That other movie that Justin Lin directed that has oh, that same yeah, character in it. In that. sure, I don't. Yeah. That's supposed to be like an origin of him. Um, Calvin, that's you weren't here when we talked about it, but Han's character is actually from another movie, not actually tied to the franchise, huh. but he like brought that character into Tokyo Drift because he liked him so much. Yeah, his, his, his name's Han in that in that as well. And that's cool. Played by the same actor and stuff. But there might be some more story in that that might be of like what his background is a little bit more. Gotcha. But I've never seen that, and it's not officially Fast it's and not Furious. Canon. Like storyline, but, yeah. but the director's been like that is the same character from here to here, mm. so okay. Well, that's cool. To watch that. My favorite uh, scene, I think, of the movie was the first scene when they're stealing the fuel. Yeah, like, yeah. It's it's real ridiculous. Yeah, but it was really creative. But it's like a creative, over the top kind of action moment, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it was like Mad Max Two sort of. Yeah, like in freezing the 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 link, breaking with the hammer. I don't have a hammer. Get out of the way. <laughs> you know, yeah. those I don't have a hammer. <laughs> yeah, I, I love having those trucks, so they have like a platform to work uh-huh. from. Yeah, where they spun around, did it in reverse, and then they I had like, something like they could... he, he like I, I love this ravine where there's no escape, and then this thing is rolling at you, and Dom like you can see him is like physics, you know, like, <laughs> trying to do the math to be able to, like, like no! The numbers, the numbers <laughs> are flying through his that hand. As, like, a, yeah. as opposed to what it probably was, what it would have been, which was just pure dumb luck. Oh, no! Dude. Close your eyes and hope you make it's it. It's like certain death, certain death, certain death, maybe? And that's what happened. Yeah. But it's, he, he, he does everything, like, he's in, like, terrible moral danger. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love it. Sure. Like, his no, job. In those scenes, his only job is to look cool behind a wheel, which yeah. well, he does in it, space. It's like what Calvin said, too. Like He needs to stay calm because if he just starts panicking, it's not going to help the situation, right? So he's yeah, trying to yeah. stay calm and cool while he's doing these death-defying things because if he starts panicking about yeah. it, freaking out, he's going to mess up. Also, they could have just gotten out of the car and walked to the hill where the tractor trailer wasn't spinning and <laughs> flaming and blowing up. Maybe. Maybe. Well, it's like the fun. thing of like running straight away from the thing yeah. that's rolling towards you mm-hmm. instead of just running to the side. Well, in, in the moments of panic, sometimes we don't think, Alvin. But yeah, you're right. That's true. But he doesn't panic. But he I will say, yeah. I appreciate that because this is a car movie, they use cars to fix all of their problems. Oh, exactly. <laughs> like getting away from an exploding tractor trailer, breaking the, the hitch... Killing the bad guy at the end. Yeah, killing like, the henchman. Yeah, everything that yep. like is a focal point. I know is a car. I was telling Aaron before we started. I was like thinking of this like video that I want to do where it takes Mortal Kombat to Annihilation. It's like the fate of the world should be decided as it should be, drifting, <laughs> <laughs> racing through. Uh, no, I'm, I'm glad you guys didn't know about Letty's death. No, yeah. I didn't. no idea. Because yeah. yeah. 
there's a thing that I'm like, well, if they know about this one, then like that's like you know the main gist of the movie is Vin Diesel's like revenge. That's why he, that's why he's motivated to yeah. want to find Braga. You know, I just was not ready. Like I, before we watched the movie, we watched that thing where there's like three and a half minutes of Letty and Dom. Yeah, playing in the water. Twenty pruned. minutes. Yeah. I think that like, like they definitely got pruny. You know, I think the two things with that because I've never seen it either, but yeah. I think it's like. Well, here's breaking this guy out of jail and some yeah. history as to why. Because, like, when you just watch the movie, it was like, so he just stole some gas for street racing? Yeah. You know? Like, that's all you really see. So it adds a little bit as to what they're doing. It's not just for street racing. Like, there was, I think there was one tanker there, but I think yeah. the other two, they might have actually given to, like, the Robin Hood kind of scenario, mm-hmm. right? Um, but then it also, besides giving some backstory for that, I think it also kind of tosses the Letty and Dom stuff in there a little bit more yeah. because of the, the Letty thing here and being like, Oh well, she's dead, and like you're like, oh sure. yeah, there's like yeah. The, the history they have, and they've been gone for a while because it, it felt like in this, at least in the, the prequel thing, that like she'd been in the states and he'd been gone, yeah. and she just kind of showed up, and you know, it, it's funny. Like the older I get and the more jaded I get, the more like shots of just like we need hot chicks dance in slow motion, sweaty ass shot, like they just like feel so artificial to me. Sure, you know like, placed in there in the edit. Like, as a younger boy, I'm like, fuck yeah, you know? This is great. Asses and cars. What a fantastic lazy. life. But now I'm like, you know, these girls, you know, you know, I'm like, you're doing so much damage. Think of the insurance. The best example Think of the premium. Of is adding them into the GPS. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. It was like a video game kind How of thing, that GPS wasn't it? Yeah. It was. Like, that GPS was not more ridiculous than in Tokyo Drift, everybody watching on their... Phones. Nokia's a live feed. Yeah, sure. Equally uh, ridiculous. Yeah, <clears throat> but it is Japan. Their their Wi-Fi is better than our <coughs> Ethernet here, <laughs> I suppose. And although, apparently that was in the future. Although real dumb that they couldn't track Brian to the FBI headquarters. They can do that. Using it. Yeah, or just neglect. I love the engine threat too. It's like, it's like the when, what? It, oh, Dom, when he like, stepped putting on him the... down and then setting the thing and grabbing the engine. <laughs> <laughs> He's like holding it. The, the like so, like chain. the threat is that if I let this go anymore, you will be crushed yeah. by its sheer weight. But I can hold it in one hand. Yeah, but yeah. you also don't want to fight back because if you nudge him, <laughs> you know, like you might, yeah. you might like, slip. Hold you know, it with one hand. He caught it falling. He did. He did. Yeah. He with stopped it hand. dead. He like, stopped it within a quarter inch of his face. That could have ripped your skin from your fist, you know. <laughs> like if but he not got Don Toretto. He, no. Like <laughs> if he got his pinky stuck through one of the links. And it slid a little bit, your pinky's just gone. It's legitimately one of my favorite things in the movie because, like, the threat is how dangerous and how heavy, but he caught it with one hand. (laughs) You know? (laughs) Like, it's ridiculous. No, yeah. But I legitimately loved that. I wish there was more. And thankfully, the kill at the end was pretty close. Sure, yeah. Yeah. I like that. We've had him do the two wheel, you know, wheelie thing. And O'Connor just held this man in place. <laughs> he as he a, grabbed his ankle like a yeah, little urchin. He, he's right here. The death zone is here. <laughs> <laughs> or he where he was, he too. did this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, that's ridiculous, and I love it. Yeah. You know? No, yeah. I, I like the ridiculous fun Me too. of things. Because it, it just, it's like, all right, this is ridiculous. It can't be real. Yeah. But that's part of the fun of it, right? Yeah, sure. It's like. Like, they're, they're, he's not going to make it underneath this flipping thing, most likely. But it's fun that they're doing it. And from what I understand, moving forward, we'll enjoy that more. There's definitely some ridiculous things that Fast and Furious <laughs> does. So, and I think this one, besides, I think the first three are more grounded. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, sure, they do some crazy light speed look things for, yeah. like, look, they're going fast, guys. But yeah. it's racing, it's drifting. This one here is the first one I felt like going into a little bit a little crazier. Like, I can't believe they're going through like through those tunnels this fast for the first time. Sure, yeah. Like, yeah. I can't believe they kill these drivers every week. Yeah. <laughs> to, and then have to do a whole nother race. A whole nother race, find some more Like, drivers. surely, like, it will get around town that, like, hey, people don't fucking come back after this race. Sure. It's like in The Running Man. Yeah. Well, it's like uh, Beast Boy should be thankful. That they faked yeah. some drugs on him because he would have been dead having done that race. He would have. Yeah. I'm so happy, Beast Boy. We started watching Titans, and you're like, you know who that is, and I'm like, I don't know, but you're not gonna shock me, and you did. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Beast Boy, oh my Team God. Titans. And then once you listen, you're like, damn it, oh is yeah, Beast you can Boy. hear him. I can yeah. hear it. You can hear him. It's so fun. 
No, when I was looking through IMDb, I'm like, I know that. Because I, I don't remember a lot of names sometimes yeah. on IMDb, but I recognize that shot sure. of, like, their face, right? Yeah. And this guy, it's... Here, I'll, sh I'll show you guys, because it's so... I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah, look at this guy's picture on IMDb. Yep. <laughs> and I'm like... You can definitely... <laughs> ah, like, it's so rememberable. Yeah. yeah. He's, like, wearing all these this bright green vest with, like, That's the dog. Teen Titans holding a dog. Yep. It's, it's just, a Wawa. It's crazy. Uh, but, yeah. His, his known right. for is Fast and Furious and then, like, Ninja Turtles and then Beast Boy. Because gotcha. he's also Michelangelo in gotcha. the Nickelodeon Turtles. Huh. Cool. He almost has, like, a Michael J. Fox, like, speak. Thing. Similarity. Speak, speak thing. Speak thing. Yeah. There's just something about like the kind of like I don't know. It's very. It's, it sounds similar but different. Like how it's kind of like high pitched yeah. but also like kind of raspy. Yeah, it's like throat. raspy but like it like kind of squeaks out the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made a joke of it in the first movie, but I couldn't believe that. To, you know, that he kept referencing this race that he should have won. You cheated. <laughs> But what came down to the race was who hit Nas first. Yeah. <laughs> like, really? Okay. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Ha! Huh. Um, I learned this in the last five years. Too early, Dom. I didn't mention this, though, either, but no one seemed to recognize Phoenix, which I thought one of I, you guys might I recognized him, but I couldn't place him. <gasps> Mother's Milk! Yeah, he's Mother's he's Milk. He's Mother's Milk! Yeah, that's who it is. Shit. He's Mother's Milk! It was throwing me because of the tattoos. I didn't recognize him at all until you said, like, try. Because I was like, I recognize yeah, him, so but those tattoos, he's right there. where do I know those tattoos from? Lazzalano, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, did you see that? No. Does it help seeing that? Oh, yeah. yeah no. Oh, yeah, he looks way more like Well, yeah, but, like, yeah. once you said try to place him, and then I started to, I immediately got it. Like, he's, he looks a lot different. Yeah, yeah, he looks a lot different. Yeah, yeah he definitely does, but I see it. But yeah, so Phoenix is Mother's Milk. Mother's Milk from the boys. Dang. Man, I want to watch the like whole movie again now. more now. Yeah. <laughs> I love Mother's Milk. Yeah. Uh, and um, you got to check, too. That one guy is one of the twins from Breaking Bad. Absolutely. Man, um, I hope I'm not wrong. Daniel and Luis Moncada. How do you spell Moncada? M-O-N-C-A-D-A. Oh. I have a Menchaca, I guess is what this is. <laughs> M-E-N-C-H-A-C-A. It... This guy could be their lost triplet. <laughs> we need more of them? If they're the cousins, then that's their cousin. I know. <laughs> we also had Gal Gadot. Damn it, man. This, it's so right? close. It it's not, it's not it, Eric. It's not it. Come also on. Gal Gadot, yes. But we did have when? Gal. Her first, it was her first film role. She'd been in like two like TV shows or something before this. This is her first movie role. Yeah. Once I saw, I just like... Like when she stepped out of the car and you were like... Is that Wonder Woman? Yeah. I was like, shit, that doesn't look like her at all. No, but then her... when she walked closer, I was like, oh, yeah, there she is. No, That's it was just shit. her, like, her frame. Like, yeah. just the way she's built. Her frame. Like, her proportions. She's just very unique. But, like, as soon as I saw him, is that Wonder Woman? And I was like, wait a minute. Maybe, did I know this? I feel like maybe I did know. Did I know? Because whenever they were, like, casted her as Wonder Woman... I think I remember now someone saying, like, well, yeah, she's from the Fast and Furious movies. I am glad. It seems like Brian cannot go back to the FBI now. No, right? They're not going to be like... He burned, like, three times! Yeah, <laughs> this is his last, last chance. <laughs> so, yeah, I, so, I feel like they, they retreaded it a little too much. Well, now, so he was... Hopefully it's done. He was a cop before. Yep. yep. Yeah. And then he was on the run. And then they came to him to help have him help with the other thing. Yep. And then he wasn't a cop then. He was just, like, a... CI, I guess, or something sure. like that, right? Yeah. Right. Um, and then you get here where they're like, they reinstated him mm -hmm. and gave him a chance. But, you know, they're, they're breaking Dom out. I don't yeah. think there's much of a... No. Which, was he just like... Was he just like a, a detective in the first movie? Or was he actually like FBI? FBI. Um, I don't think he was a Fed, was he? I thought the Feds came in. The Feds were the there, feds. but yeah, I don't think he was a Fed. So I, I think he was... Like but a, he might have been. A local cop. Yeah, I, I just felt like he was like an undercover detective or something mm -hmm. like that. Because he never had like the flippy FBI wallet. Yeah, there was like there was like a right? there was like a police chief and the FBI in that first movie. That's yeah. I liked him chasing in the suit in the beginning. Yeah, that was cool. yeah. Yeah, it was that, a very Bond chase. That t tackle through the glass was awesome. Yeah. In the first movie, he's an undercover cop. Uh -huh. okay. Then he gets uh, in, reinstated here and becomes like an FBI. Yeah, but I mean, he could. I mean, I think he's FBI here. I mean, he had the badge, but he could have just also been a cop in California, maybe. No, he was definitely FBI. Here. Okay, 
And then in two, they talk about how like there was another friend that he was gonna let go, but couldn't because he was he wasn't aware or something like that, right? But what was it? Uh, they do that for with Roman. Roman, like before he let uh, Toretto go, he was gonna let Roman go, but he wasn't like Roman thought that he like framed him or betrayed him, but really. Isn't that something like that? He yeah. was never going to let Roman go, but because he was a cop, he blamed him for him getting burnt. Yeah. So like he I was, thought there was like a line or later whenever he said, like, man, I didn't even know they were doing that then. Yeah, I don't think Brian had anything to do with his bust. Yeah. No, it was just the consequences of his actions. <clears throat> and he, was, he always blamed Brian because he was a cop. Yeah. He thought he should have yeah. either yeah. gotten away for him to get out that, of it or told him. One of the lines for uh, for Brian, I think, in Too Fast, Too Furious was like, "You have to own your own mistakes or your own like you know, mm-hmm. like yeah. that was your fault, not his." Yeah. But he was he got blamed for it because he just was a cop. I think this one does. I don't know. I think it does a decent enough job of kind of bringing Dom and Brian together, even after like the first movie of them kind of breaking apart. You know, like there's sure. the Letty thing, which I think also while it is in. In a little bit, it's kind of pulling them away from each other, especially when he learns, like, oh, well, she was working with you, and you had her under your, you know. Yeah. But the idea of it being his fault, too, because she was just doing it to try to bring him back home and get him back to the States. Yeah. Like, I don't know. There, the rage is replaced with guilt. There's that mixture of, like, <laughs> the family and friends and what he feels for them versus, like, being a cop. And I kind of like uh, Mia's line of being, like, are you a were you a good guy pretending to be a bad guy? Or are you lying to yourself and you're a bad guy pretending to be a good guy? You know, like, where do you really fall on the line of everything? I just personally think that knowing Dom's anger and his incredible superhuman strength, I would have led with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Especially knowing that I would be in the confines of a vehicle with him. <laughs> yeah. I, I might have. I, mean, I can understand why you why you wouldn't, you know? Sure. Especially and it's in Brian's nature to kind of, like, Lie. keep things close to the chest, but yeah. I think I would have led with it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's what I would have led with while he was holding a guy out of a window. No, I understand. You know? I get you. It's like, look, hey, I'm responsible yeah. for Letty's death. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it might not have been a good timing. But I think they had, so, some, they had some time to talk about it. I think I think, I think, think at the dinner table there where they've, like, they just prayed and they were, like, being, yeah. like, thankful for family and friends. It's like, well, he was there at the table, too, you know, so. But he didn't tell him. A Dom called uh, the number on Letty's phone and figured it out before yeah. he told him. Sure. And it might be one of those things, too, of, like, well, when's a good time to tell him this, you know? Like, I have terrible news I need to tell Eric. When's when's the time I should tell Eric this, you yeah. know? When you're so. alone and have nothing to talk about on the drive to the impound lot. <laughs> yeah, but then yeah. He, he can't escape. Before he finds <laughs> out otherwise. Punches yeah. him in the face. <laughs> so, I don't know. You think Dom, like, thinks that, like, well, the whole Grace thing will give him extra credit. Because he does not keep the Lord's commandments. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, well, give me some credit, though. I do the grace thing. Oh, you're, you're right. I guess so. I mean... Or is it just like I mean, a tradition? Second 2 Corinthians 5.12, ride or die. <laughs> it's probably right. I would die read the Bible. I don't know. I know. We also had the, the main bad Everyone. guy who likes to kill people every week, give a bunch of money to the church, because we thought that would help him. Sure, right? Remember when <laughs> Trump that, that, when Trump was pandering to Christians and said Corinthians 2? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Good. But no, like that's a thing too, right? Like there's lots of like especially down in like like south of the border is yeah. the idea of like a lot of the people there are Catholic, mm-hmm. but there's also like drug runners and cartels yeah. and stuff, but they're mm-hmm. still religious. Mm-hmm. But it's not like they're doing exactly what like the Bible says. They're still well, Catholicism has too, so. forgiveness. You can go to confession. <laughs> well then, then maybe there you go. <laughs> you know? Dom just has to go confess lot. at some point. Yeah. Yeah, back in the day, Catholics could literally buy forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Literally. Literally. The money. They were called indulgences. Mm-hmm. You could You could buy forgiveness before you did it. Yep. <laughs> it, was, it, was like a, it was like a voucher <laughs> yeah. or, or a ticket to do this activity. I got I to gotta get, get out of jail free cards right here. <laughs> so, Eric, you were wrong about Braga? Yeah. <laughs> I like when you're like, I have a prediction right now. I want to predict it too. And I was like, you can't predict. You already seen it. Like, I can predict something. So I was like, I bet Eric's wrong. Well, I, I was like, like, okay, it's got to be something shocking because why else have it be like no one's ever seen his face? You know? Like, all right, well, that's got to be like a reveal. So who could it be? Uh, the FBI captain. He's the one. He controls both sides. He's Palpatine. Sure, yeah, that's a good trick. You know, right? like, maybe it's him. So I wrote that down. And I was like, eh, is it gonna be Wonder Woman? 
Like, I was like, well, you don't cast someone that famous unless, but then I was like, well, she's not famous yet. She wasn't this famous. This is her then. first thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I was like, no, it's police, FBI dude. And then that guy got out, and I'm like, ah, okay, I guess it's just this. And then I was like, no. In my head, I think I said at one point, too, I was like, ah, it's not this guy. And then, like, I don't know, a minute later, two minutes later, it's like, it's not him. And I'm like, okay, who's it going to be? And it's just been this guy that we've seen this whole time. I'm like, oh, that guy? When I first Fuck. saw him, and he was talking about Braga and stuff like that, yeah. and especially when he said, like, me especially, I would die for Braga. And it's like I was like, either he has a really close personal relationship with him, or that's definitely Braga. Yeah. And what threw me off is when they went to the other room, and I saw that other guy in there with white hair, and I was like, well, maybe, maybe that I just is completely Braga. misread that. I, I'm <laughs> probably totally wrong. But then I was like, well, what what if it's still just like a figurehead thing? What if he's just you know using the name to throw the suspicion off of him? Sure. And I was like. What about that guy in that other room? You know, Dang, my, I have to be wrong. <laughs> you know, my first guess was that I was ashamed and embarrassed to even say it. That fucking guy from the first movie that was always giving Brian, like, Dude, what the fuck are you doing here? You know? Oh, and then got injured and went name. off on a helicopter. We never saw him again. It's oh, like, it's going to be that guy. It's going to be Rocco. Who he, who he called the, the ambulance? Yeah, the guy that's always like. The guy that was wrapped up with the cable, yeah. like, in the car or in the yeah. truck. Like, ah. Oh. See, that's who I thought that Shit. they were breaking out of prison. In oh, the yeah. thing that we watched before the movie. Gotcha. It's like, oh, they're breaking that guy up. Because that guy... Be in a, like a, a Dominican prison. Exactly. That but that guy definitely is in prison, right? Like, he went to the hospital. He was involved in this... All this stuff. Like, he probably went like, to jail. They ain't, no one got him. Family doesn't mean he, shit he, for no, him. He wasn't good enough driver. <laughs> I guess so. He got wrapped up in that cable. Yeah. He, he can't shift. Yep. Come on. I don't know. They didn't get Come Letty, on. though. I don't know. You know, like, there's... There's a few things like that where I'm like... So what were they after Dom exactly for? That they were after him, but like Letty was okay, you know. Like Mia was kind of more innocent in it. Yeah, like she's she didn't. Innocent. She was kind of she, like she was involved in it. She went in there trying to stop them, but I mean, Letty might have ran too. <clears throat> Maybe right? they, like she was still in the states, but Dom had to like leave the states, yeah. you know. Like, and then she went to the police, being like, "Hey, look, if I do this for you, you gotta let Dom off the hook and let him come back to the states." So like, it didn't seem like a look, I'm in trouble, so I'm going to make a deal for me and then make a deal for her, or him, I mean. Unless Dom has some other, like, backstory. But we do know that he, like, almost almost murdered a guy? Or he, did he, he beat murder someone a guy? almost to death. I think it was almost to death, right? Yeah. I but think yeah. so. Yeah. But, like, they've had multiple <coughs> FBI manhunts after him. Yeah. And he's, he, he stole a bunch of DVD players. He did. He also, he I mean, spent... That's the one that we saw. He also, yeah, he, he has these manhunts after him, and he spent ten scenes in this movie in the first place I would look. Sure. <laughs> in the first place. The garage of his house. His garage. <laughs> Working uh, on his car. Yeah. I get you. Like, they don't even have, like, a, you know, like a neighbor. Like, hey, if you see anything, you see this guy. You give, I don't know. What was Gal Gadot's name? Uh, Giselle. I think it was Giselle. Was that said in the movie? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you said it a couple times. No, go back. I want to see the uh, candy l iguana that I missed. Oh. Yes. I missed it. The heist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's reading a magazine. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I can't look. You greedy bitch. <laughs> that guy is so distracted. Of course, that he didn't like. Really Pay attention. Yeah. He's reading a magazine, driving and feeding the guana candy. Oh, it's a fairly straight, boring <laughs> road, I guess, too. It's so. not. It's curvy. He has 50 tanks. What's with you can just name him 50 when there's like six? <laughs> What's with me is I love it's your literally response. literally less than six. It's, it's five. five. <laughs> it's like you, you multiply by ten, whatever it is. Still, though, man, that's a lot of weight to be fucking reading a magazine feeding your iguana. You greedy bitch. And this guy just bitch. cut in front of him. Yeah. No shirt, yeah. clear distance. Yeah. <sighs> Alrighty. Did you guys have anything else? This was five years after the first Fast and Furious. Yeah. Which okay. we we heard confirmation. Like, this From is all sister. you're going to say to me after five years. Mm -hmm. So, that makes sense. Before we do the next one, I'll make sure I have, like, what the timeline of the years are for you guys. Gotcha. Yeah, because yeah, this confused can... me with yeah. Han. <laughs> Did it? I was like, hey. well, when you first said it, it was like, oh, yeah, by the way, Han is in this. I was like, what? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched. This mm, well, I guess we he, haven't. He's we dead. Didn't, we didn't see a body. This takes place before. <laughs> you know, when you said that, I was like, well, hang on, we didn't see a body. Yeah, like, he just... Immediately after it happened, I was like, oh, he crawled out the other door. That's what happened. He's going to show up at the end and, and save him. 
it didn't happen. And it didn't happen. And then Dom showed up at the end and was like, family. Yeah. And I was like, ah, shit, maybe he is dead. Fuck. He's there for him. He could just be around the world drifting. We don't know. So as far as they go so far, like, is this one, did you guys like, like this more or less in Tokyo? I know Tokyo, you guys kind of like, I think I like Tokyo better so far than the first two. I think going forward after Tokyo, I have this, not expectation, but I was like, what the fuck am I going to see? Because, like, the goalpost is, like, from Tokyo to Hobbs and Shaw trailer. And I'm like, all right, well, th- is it going to do, like, this? Is it going to do this? Is it going to, you know, like... Is it going to go, like, yeah. this? Like, yeah, exactly. a little crazy, bring it back. A little crazy, like, bring that's it back. The, that's the one thing I know. So I think I went into this one thinking, like, I might see some shit. And to be fair, I saw some shit. There's a couple, you know? there's a couple shits. So I want to see more shit. <laughs> but, uh... I also, like, this one I feel like I took a little more seriously because it wasn't 95% drifting. Sure. Yeah. It was drifting. They were drifting. definitely drifting in there. There was a few drifts. Yeah. Well, like, remember, like, the fishermen being like, a kid can't drift, you know? That's ridiculous to me, but I love it. I, I love those fishermen. It's like, everyone in Japan yeah. cares about drifting. They all can drift, or yeah. they like watching drift. Yeah, exactly. They don't drift if they can't drift. I know. It's all about drifting. Rick, what do you think? I don't know. I definitely like the style of Tokyo Drift better. And I think it's a better made movie, mm. but I'm more interested in the character of Brian than I am the character of that. Mm-hmm. Sean. Yeah. Sean. But I'm more interested in Sean than I am in Vin Diesel. Okay. Yeah, most of the time. But the Letty stuff was interesting, and there were, like, stakes. And the revenge is always fun. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, uh, I like different things from both of them. I get you. They're kind of close. Hmm. What about you, Calvin? Having just watched both of these today. <laughs> I probably like... Tokyo Drift a bit more than this one because I felt like the style that Tokyo Drift was shot in it felt more redline okay and which I don't get but yeah and anime in in that respect you know what's funny is like speaking about anime I feel like in the first Fast and Furious movie like if it was an anime and they were like NOS and they were like they'd be like yeah they're going fast it's anime but because it's live action like what the fuck is this you have to watch Redline. You know what I mean? <laughs> Redline changed my life. I I really want like one nope. of these picks to be just Redline again and have Aaron watch it with us. <laughs> he needs to see it. It's and tricky. I want to be there. And just, I want you two to be we there. We just as strap well. Aaron down clockwork orange style. Yeah. yeah. Two I mean, picks of the open. eyeballs. I mean I could just watch it. No. Just watch it. No. I don't have no. to have all that stuff. You no. need to be on camera. By that point we would have talked it up too much where it can't reach it. Like Tombstone. <laughs> no, Tombstone was good. Tombstone was amazing. Tombstone had one bad part. Was, the Tombstone, the movie itself was pretty good, but I think yeah. I was hyped up. When I'm like, oh man, what the hell is this gonna be? Oh yeah, this is so good of a movie. I've talked about it for years. Yeah, that's your fault. My fault. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe in case we do some more Fast and Furious movies. And if you want to vote on future movies, make sure you guys go to Patreon.com/slash/BlindWave in the description. Could be all kinds of stuff. Could be Redline. Might not be. But. Go vote, and uh, if you wanted to see more of this, the full link from right here is available over on Patreon as well.